This month on Now Loading News. Learn how a carnival is bringing people together. See how an organization helps to keep Manoa's identity by maintaining native plant life. And hear what Manoa residents have to say about their community. That's what's next on Now Loading News. From Moana Lua High School. In association with Metamac. Giving voices to stories untold. We are now loading you. Aloha and welcome to Now Loading News. I'm Caleb Casinas. And I'm Jocelyn Bonilla. Today, we are reporting from Manoa, where we are practicing for the Student Television Network's Crazy Eights competition. We had eight hours to produce, film, and edit a show based on the theme, A Remote Valley. Manoa is located on the east side of Hawaii. It houses the University of Hawaii at Manoa, four major private institutes for K-12, as well as over 45,000 residents. Manoa is a community situated in a valley, a bit secluded from the large city of Honolulu, and because of that, it's created a special community that resists the temptation of urbanization, unlike the rest of the island. One thing that's special to Manoa is the annual Punahou Carnival. Reporter Chloe Popo went out to see how the Punahou Carnival is bringing this small remote community together. The Punahou Carnival has been around since 1932 and has gotten more and more popular each year. Every year, it brings in thousands of people from around the island to join in on the fun. So today is the second day of the Punahou Carnival. The carnival is primarily done to raise funds to help about 20% of the students come to Punahou who may otherwise not have the opportunity. For 85 years, the Punahou Carnival has brought in people from all over the island to the peaceful Manoa Valley. This year, the carnival is swinging back in time with their 50s theme. Manoa is usually a very quaint town, quiet. The back of the valley is very um, remote and historic. Uh, I'd say Manoa is a kind of like a tightly knit community because like everybody can gather around special places. Not a whole lot of big events happen here. Punahou Carnival is probably one of the biggest events that draws the most people. In such a remote valley, the carnival takes Manoa off the tracks of its typical routine. So I think for the Manoa community, probably we, we bring a lot of traffic and a lot of hustle and bustle, which is not usually what they're um, accustomed to, I guess. But um, what we hope is that for the rest of the community on Oahu, that it brings them together. And Beyond the crowd, traffic, and noise, the Punahou Carnival brings not only fun, but help to the Manoa community and all who pass through. Chloe Popa, now loading news. The Manoa campus is the main campus for the University of Hawaii. It has unique things to offer to its students as well as the community. That's right. The Lion Arboretum is one of the many things that they offer. This arboretum is 200 acres with a botanical garden that is open to the public. Up next, reporter Cheryl Chong takes a closer look at this arboretum and its role to keeping Manoa's identity. The Lion Arboretum is devoted to growing and maintaining native Hawaiian plant life as it tries to keep itself as distant as possible from the island's label of concrete jungle. Being so close to town, but being so away from everything, so I mean like five minutes away is the hustle and bustle of town, but when you come back here, you're pretty much in like a rainforest kind of setting. Sort of keeping that community vibe. And I know that that is something here on Oahu that's very common, but it doesn't seem, people don't seem to come out of their way to come up to Manoa. With its remote location, Manoa has been an ideal place for Hawaii to stick to its roots. The Lion Arboretum has over 200 acres dedicated to maintaining the native species of Hawaii. The people who work here really care about the aina and really work to take care of the land here. And I think that it's really special because the Arboretum is closed at certain times. So, you know, you can access the valley probably from hiking through, but you'd have to come up really steep trails. So it kind of keeps development from coming back into this valley and it keeps people from um, building whatever they'd like here and so we have this really special sort of maintained sacred place that people can come up and experience. The Arboretum is of course a place where visitors can learn about native Hawaiian species but it is also a garden where many can escape the big buildings and typical tourist attractions. Because you don't realize you're in town once you start walking on the trail and I think um, as you're walking along the trail, you realize the beauty of what Hawaii, maybe this is what it used to look like. So it's a really good way for people to come in contact with something that is 
maybe less seen in their everyday so that they can be reminded of why it's special and important to conserve those things. So to be able to see a plant that maybe is so rare that they might not see it otherwise. I think it's important just to keep it like how it is and not have it go back to the way it was or not let, um, you know, the modernization come back here. For the Lion Arboretum, they are determined to maintain the current state. To lose everything, you know, would be to just homogenize and become like anywhere else in the world. And Manoa is a really a place specific beauty and it has so much history. And I think to lose that would be really sad. I am Cheryl Chung for Now Loading News. Now it's time to see what's trending. Here's Trina Tran and Erin Nomura with our Now Trending segment. Welcome to Now Trending, where we update students on the latest buzz. Today, we head off campus into the Manoa community to find out what's trending. This weekend in Manoa, we have the Punahou Carnival happening. It's a two-day fundraiser for Punahou's financial aid program. With 60 boots and a variety of rides, the Punahou Carnival has something for everyone. One word, malasadas. Punahou makes its own signature malasadas with an original recipe that dates back to 1957. No one can resist those delicious sugary donuts. The Punahou Carnival is not the only exciting event happening this weekend. It is also Super Bowl Sunday. The two teams that are playing are the New England Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons. This is the ninth time Patriots have played in the Super Bowl and the second time for the Falcons. Many spectators look forward not only to the game, but also the halftime show and the commercials in between. Today, I went out to ask residents of Manoa what their plans are for Super Bowl Sunday. What are your plans for Super Bowl Sunday? Uh, in the morning, we hit church, and then probably I'll take a nap and have a nice lunch. And then if I have any energy left, I'll watch the Super Bowl. Actually, I have to work. Uh, we're Patriots fans, so we're having a huge party at my house with um, wild weddings and stuff like that. I'm leaving on a plane. Okay. <laughs> right at Super Bowl time. We're going to get a uh, gathering with friends and family. We're going to uh, enjoy the show. So I live on campus at UH, so me and my friends are going to throw a, a nice little get together in Washington. Thanks, Erin. Manoa may be a remote valley, but that doesn't stop residents from having fun like the rest of us. That's all the trends we have for you today. I'm Trina Tran. And I'm Erin Amaro. And that's what's trending. Even though Manoa may be small, as of lately, there has been much success within the sports world for the high school athletes in the community. Punahou girls soccer will be playing in the state championship tonight. Manoa advances to their girls basketball state final, and Mid Pacific Institute will be playing in the Division II championship for girls basketball as well. It seems like the community is able to create a home for many up and coming athletes. Well, that ends this episode of Now Loading News for the Crazy Aids competition in Manoa. Next month, we'll be back on campus, so many don't forget that the blood drive is on March 2nd, senior prom is on March 4th, and junior prom is on March 17th. For more news on the latest updates on what's going on at school and the community, be sure to follow our Twitter and Instagram at MOHS Broadcast and our website, nowloadingnews.com. I'm Jocelyn Bonilla. And I'm Caleb Casinas. The loading is now complete. complete.